We've only been going an hour and you've cracked into sandwiches already. Shut up. We've not finished yet. Too tight, put it in my mouth. <laughs> oh, you stop it, girl. Hello guys, good morning. It's a Sunday morning for us. We are going out now on our four hour, um, 12 mile charity walk. So we're driving to a beach, getting on the beach, and walking for four hours. Driving on the beach? Not driving on the beach. We're going to walk on a beach for four hours. So I've got my bag packed with snacks and things, because you've got to be prepared, haven't you? you Nick's just doing things with our new Facebook group which is called the Lodge Guys Orlando Group. So if you want a place to talk about all things Orlando, Florida, Disney, etc., check out that on Facebook and join and um, post some things about Florida. So, come on, Nick. We're supposed to be there in about half an hour. You've set me on with this task now. Are you up? Yes, well, stop talking to me now. Let me get on with it. Let's go on our charity walk. Right, we're set off on our four-hour walk up to Bridlington, which is kind of up there so 12 miles to go and the tide's quite in a bit so we're having to keep ourselves close to the rocks right so we've set off we've spent an hour cleaning the beach Ooh, look at what it is it's claire it's the bug eating claire <laughs> so we've got about four hours allocated and about 12 miles with plenty of ice cream and coffee stops on the way and lee's brought snacks just in case yeah so um Follow us on our journey. We've only been going an hour and you're cracking into sandwiches already. Is it nice? Is it nice? Oh. Two and a half miles to go. Just stop for an ice cream. Very nice. My feet are throbbing. They are. Really hurting me actually. I had two scoops of chocolate ice cream. It was very nice. Three pound eighty. Feel robbed. Seven pound off that bloody ice cream. Could have done with a cup of tea, but won't pay them price. I could have got a tub of that ice cream. From now, isn't it? A bit buttery. It is. We've got three and a half miles to run, and then we're there. Brother in to go, and then we have got a lift arranged back. I can't walk back. My God, wants chips and gravy. I do. I'm just thinking about chips and gravy, and I bet you anything. On the next scene, you see Lee eating them as well. So let's carry on. We made it. We made it. We're having five minutes before we do that little bit more extra, and then we'll find somewhere for a nice cuppa. You get chips if you want. I will. Thanks. We've not finished yet. Too tight. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> We've not finished yet. We've got to get on there. You carry on. We've made it to the finish line. I'm just going to slide down this. And have you finished your chips? Not yet. Go on then. I'll have one. My feet are killing me. I've been here for the last ten minutes. An ice cream van and it's sat my phone in my pocket going off. So this is Stormy Stan, who's come to accept our donation. Go on Claire, hand it over. There's been a lifeboat in Bridlington since 1805, which predates the RNLI by 19 years. So they were founded in 1824, we were here in 1805. Our old boat, the Mersey, that's now looking after uh, the Isle of Man. It's in Douglas. So she served us for 27 years and then she went away and then we got this one in 2017. What you've done for us today is helping us raise money to buy these. Um, kit 
Each piece of kit is about two and a half thousand pounds, including the life jacket, it's a lot of money. It comes in layers, that's why it's so good, so you get a, a base layer, which is uh, there. The wellies cost about 30, uh, sorry, 53 pounds now. Uh, so the steel toe count for protection. So you said you were a volunteer, so do you do it full time or? No, no. Do you have, just, a, do you have a, another job as well? Uh, I'm retired now. Right. But yeah, most of the guys that come down here. Adam is a paramedic. Ian is a gardener. Ryan is a property shop developer. Jordan is a fisherman. What's wrong with you now? Very windy here. Yeah. You might not be able to hear it if the muff's not working. But uh, Nick's limping after our walk. Chips, walk and a tour. Yes, and an ice cream. And an ice cream. Oh. Oh. I need to sit down. We're back in the lodge. Ooh, my hat's all, my head's all fluffy. I've not even had an hat on. Oh, it's my sunglasses. I'm having a snack. Anyway, we're back in the lodge. If you hadn't heard, Hobbit's having a snack. Come on, Frodo, sit down. I'm having a well-earned beer. Those tired old jokes. Shut up. I'm having a well-earned beer. And um, we forgot to tell you what, what the whole thing was in aid of. So it was for the RNLI, which is the Royal National Lifeboat Institute. Institute. So it's a completely charitable institution. They don't get any government funding at all. The whole thing for, for lifeboat and life-saving and things like that is all done purely through donation, uh, donations. That's the centre where we just had a tour around because 10 million pounds from donations. Yeah. The lifeboat itself cost... Two and a half million. Yeah. And the tugboat was two and a half million. Um, and they rely on donations. And they're all there voluntarily as well. They all have proper jobs and they do it to save people's lives. Yes, they do. So if you guys do want to support them, we've put a link below in our video. You can go onto their website and you can donate any amount at all. Um, it's every, every penny helps, no matter how much it's for. We've donated today, haven't we? We have. Um, but we haven't worked out yet, because um, our friend Claire, she's arranged it. So she's going to work out the total amount. So in a later video, we'll actually tell you how much money was raised. I need to sit down now. Me too, my feet are steaming. Nick! I've been to the car to get us sweets. Do you want yours? Do you want yours? I'm coming in. Let's get under the sheets then. If you want your sweets. <laughs> I won't submit our viewers to the view that I've got now. But I'll have the sweets. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> my legs are really aching. So is my ass. My fingers are. So, ooh, I feel like I've done ooh, a 12 mile walk, I have. What you got to moan about? <sighs> the fact that I've got to do this on a Sunday night. We need to sort these out, you know, as well. Go and sort it out then now. Shall I put them in wash? No. Just brush it off? Yeah. We haven't got a clothes brush. I'll use your socks. You what are on the table? Why? Because I said so. So, you're working, aren't you? Unfortunately. Doing some things for work. Well, I'm chilling with aching legs. I've had to type 12 pages of a photocopied invoice into our system. Mm, uh, right, I'll just what have you things. done? I've chilled. Right, then, chilled. make this last toast. Um, I'm off Actually, to... I don't want one. Good. I'm off to start these out. Glad to see you're busy. I am, yeah. Right, turn that off, because we've got something to do now. I'm playing shovel knife. You were? Mm. Right, so... Ah, legs. Oh, you stop it, girl. Right, so what term we've got to do now is I left Lee in charge of saying hello to new patrons. Hi, patrons. And he's forgotten one. <laughs> Possibly more than one. So I have to take over now and make sure that we do a, a hello to all our new patrons. So we're going to do it right from the beginning of the month to make sure we capture everybody. I'm so busy. I do apologise. Apologise for being busy? Look what I've done to my head. Oh, my God. I didn't put my hat on today and at the top... Can you see it red? Yeah. Oh, I'm devastated. Oh, for God's sake. I'm always so sun smart. Right, do it afterwards. Are you ready? And that little bit on the top has gone all red. Stop boring people. <laughs> right, so I'm going to say hello to our new patrons. If we've said hello already, then you get a double hello. And if not, Lee apologises. And I, I basically promise that he'll never be doing this again. So we'll start from the beginning of May. So we'll do uh, Rhea Green, Rick Verona, Barona, Laura Ann, Steiner and Sandy Roberts, uh, Lisa Crossley, uh, Charlotte Jackson, Morvan Og, Nikki Witt, K 
Kaylin Lehman, and if I pronounce your name wrong, I'm sorry, I've had a few beers and I'm trying my best. Uh, Kate Davis, Julie Sugden, Jane Shankland, uh, Lisa Mather, Melinda Marston, um, Lynn, Shell, the one that Lee forgot. Hi Shell. Hi Shell, sorry. Um, I've made it up to where I've given her a link. I know. And um, welcome back to uh, Thomas and Melinda. Uh, Hannah Crompton, Emma Dulson, Louise Knotts, Sonia Menel, my eyes are going now. Uh, Jason Clark, Ryan Adams, Ron N, Lucy Steins, Chris Sayer, and Lauren Fairley. And Hi, also guys. a thanks to Nicky Witts for update, upping his pledge to the early link tier. So thanks, you should have access to all our videos for the next sort of nine days. So thank you guys. Will you stop looking at yourself in the freaking camera? So thank you guys for becoming patrons and joining our patron family. Thank you and I know a lot, a lot of you are already talking to us on our patron chat. So um, And we've got some patron cards to send out um, on Tuesday when we go back to home for two days to take the girls out. So we're going to finish the vlog now, because I'm going to relax, I'm going to play more on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's going to go lay on the bed, probably, and drink beer. So if you're not already a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button below to become a lodger. Hit the like button, click on the notification bell. Why are checking your hips? Don't forget to check out the description below where you can see the charity that we walked for today. Find out more about it, and if you fancy donating to them, uh, they work purely voluntary and rely on Public donations. donations. So, and it's a worthy cause. Yeah. Saving lives. We'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog. Bye. Bye.